Happy December, y'all! Jess hands. <laughs> I am so excited about today's video because it's all about snowmen and I was invited to be a guest host for the Hello Winter Open Playlist and it's hosted by The Rusted Willow and DIY From House to Home. I just adore those gals and I really do appreciate the invite so be sure and check out the links to their channels below as well as to the playlist because there's going to be lots of fun DIYs that you don't want to miss. Now y'all, it's time to create something fun. On this channel, I love sharing easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Y'all know I love using cardboard and crafts because it's cheap. I mean, <laughs> usually free and it's pretty easy to work with. For DIY number one, cut two large circle shapes from cardboard and I'm using this template from Love, Believe in Santa Claus. I've linked the video that I got this from down below, but I want y'all to notice that it's not a full circle. It's kind of a, kind of has a part that's cut off so that you can later glue the two pieces together. And of course the top circle is smaller than the bottom circle. And I usually get my cardboard from my Amazon boxes, but you could also use a cereal box. It just depends on the project that you're doing, like how thick you might want or need the cardboard to be. This is a microfiber cloth that I got from Dollar Tree and is actually in the automotive section. Side note, you can clean your glasses with this or if you're a curly girl, this also would work great to scrunch your hair. And you could also use the cloth and get you two red oven mitts and you could make a pair of Santa's mittens. And I'll link how I made one in the top corner. But in that video, I used a mop head, but this cloth would work great too. And I'm going to cut out the cloth about an inch or so larger than the circle template. And then to make sure it goes around the curve well, I'm just cutting some slits into the fabric all the way around the edge. And I don't have an exact number on how many you should or shouldn't do. It just depends on how thick and stretchable that fabric is. But just make sure you don't cut too close to the cardboard because you don't want it to show that you cut it or it start to unravel or fray or anything like that. And then I just start putting some hot glue on the cardboard and pressing the fabric down. And then I go on the opposite side and I stretch it just a bit and then hot glue it down. And then just go all the way around hot gluing and trimming the fabric as needed. And you don't want it bulking up in the back and you want it smooth on the front. So do that for both shapes. And now that you have both pieces done, run a bead of hot glue on the flat side of the shape of one of them and then press the two shapes flat sides together. I hot glued a craft stick to the back to stabilize both pieces because it, it felt kind of flimsy to me. And I had some orange felt on hand but you could use regular orange fabric and I just cut out the shape of a carrot nose and I did have to adjust it a bit later so try to make yours just a tad bit bigger in case you need to do the same. And I have a vintage Tupperware container that holds all my buttons and I spent <laughs> what felt like four hours going through it to find the right size. And I don't think I showed this, but I ended up painting a button because I couldn't find two that were the right size for the eyes. And if you can't find buttons, you could always use wood half beads or even felt or fabric to make the eyes, mouth, and buttons. And once you get what you like, hot glue those down. Now I have some thicker felt that I had on hand that has an adhesive back so I cut that down into a hat shape and I hot glued it on and I kind of like took away some of that adhesive backing so it would stick better. And I had some leftover Christmas fabric in my stash so I cut off a long strip and I hot glued it together long ways and I used that as the scarf and I tied it around the neck and I hot glued it in some spots to kind of help it keep its shape and stuff and I cut fringe on the ends. Oh hi! Hi it's me! Um the problem is me. No you know, the Taylor Swift song. Anyways, um, I love hot chocolate and you would know that if you followed me on Instagram and if you don't, why not? Because the link is in the description box below and it's free. But I do a lot of stories and um, I get a hot chocolate often, almost every day. Yes, I know, but hey, that's my thing, okay? You do you, I do me. <laughs> but also, in addition to loving hot chocolate, I love connecting with y'all. So the link to my Instagram is in the description box below, but also a link to my Facebook crafting group called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. It's going to be down there as well. I run that with my friend Sarah from Jujubee DIY, and I just love it when you guys post whatever 
um, projects you're working on because I think supporting each other through community and connection is important and you can't get enough of that. So um, links are below. You know what to do. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. So for DIY number two, it's a simple wood book stack, but with a twist. Normally on a book stack, you'd put words on one end or another, but on this one, we're actually gonna make it into a snowman. So start off by painting each block of wood white, and you could also use a Dollar Tree crate for this project. I'm adding the eyes and mouth with a black paint pen and the nose with an orange paint pen. You just put the top block is gonna be the eyes and the bottom wood block is gonna be the mouth and the middle will be the nose. Okay, I'm gonna show you all of these DIYs at the end, how they turn out, but here I am making the hat for the snowman. And what I did was cut out, I used a toilet paper tube roll thing, and I cut out just a little strip, like probably like not even one inch maybe, and I cut out some felt to wrap around it, and then I hot glued that on, and then I hot glued the buffalo check on top of that to kind of act as the ribbon on the brim or something. And here you see me, I'm just tying that book stack together with the buffalo check ribbon. And you could use twine for this, you could use another color um, ribbon, it doesn't have to be exactly like I'm doing, but this is just how I did mine. So back to the hat. That circle there is the brim of the hat, the base of the hat, and then I am gonna cut out um, just essentially a square larger than the hat. And I was gonna try to, you know, trace it out and stuff but what I ended up doing was hot gluing that on to the felt and then cutting the excess felt away that worked so much better for me I didn't have to like super measure and then it be short in an area or anything like that this worked out much better for me to make the top of the hat and then I hot glued the bottom of the hat to the top of the hat and but I did not hot glue it to the book stack just in case I want to change it up like later give myself some flexibility here. Our final DIY is DIY number three, and it's gonna be a little wood sign. I cut this out using my jigsaw, and it was just a scrap piece of wood left over from probably another project that I did, and I'm staining it with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And as always, painting it on and using a damp scrap piece of cloth to wipe off all the excess. Now I'm going in with some black paint. It is Apple Barrel Black. And I'm making a little section across the top that you see there. And then I'm gonna be making some little blocks with the paint, sectioning off with the paint. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. I'm gonna skip an area because I'm gonna paint it something different. I'm gonna paint it white and that is just the Waverly or Folk Art Wicker White paint. Now I'm adding, uh, using a paint pen and adding in the nose, it is gonna be a snowman. And I add little dots for the eyes and for the mouth. And then as you can see, I've written the word snow. Is that sock? That sock's helping me today. So I've just written out the word snow and across the top I wrote, let it, snow and now i'm taking a thinner smaller paint pen and adding in some snowflake embellishments i absolutely love how all three diys turned out today you could use that snowman right there as in the middle of a wreath um, or you could hang it on the wall that book stack snowman would look super cute on a tiered tray it's a really great size it's not too big or anything and the let it snow sign that would also work on a tear tray depending on how big yours is or it would work great in a vignette or just you know against some little books or something like that i just think they all turned out great and super easy very inexpensive very budget friendly i just love how they turned out and i collect snowmen i like snowmen just because i think they're happy and they give warm hugs and they can last this kind of decor can last you all the way through january because you know it's versatile it's winter 
Thank y'all so much for joining me today while I craft and create. I really do appreciate the company. And I just thank y'all so much for coming back, you know, time after time to watch my videos and giving it a thumbs up and all that kind of stuff. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And yeah, and if you want to follow me on other social media like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok or something like that, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!